At this shelter for migrants in Tijuana, many here noticed President Trump did not use the word Mexico during his speech. Nevertheless, they heard him loud and clear when he said the U.S. left its own border wide open. William Booth, the founder Alejandro guess, Fonseca was deported twice from the United States. He supports Trump's plan to remove undocumented migrants with criminal records. I honestly think that if you broke the law, you deserve to get deported, plain and simple. I did it, and I always say I deserved it. A top Mexican immigration official says the Trump administration's deportation effort so far shows little difference when compared to his predecessor, President Barack Obama, at least as it relates to this sector of the border. I understand that there is a general concern arising from the statements of the president on the issue of migration, but it is also true that no substantive changes have taken place. Trump's announcement of the creation of a new agency called Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement is also raising fears. Human rights observers in this border city and all across Mexico are concerned that the creation of this new U.S. federal office, known as VOICE, will lead to widespread discrimination against Latin American immigrants in the United States. Human rights advocate and social anthropologist Victor Clark Alfaro says Trump wants to portray undocumented immigrants as dangerous criminals. He continues to maintain the same discourse of criminalizing migration and linking it to crime and terrorism. I do not see any change. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research and other independent data, undocumented immigrants in the U.S. commit fewer crimes than U.S.-born citizens. Trump's insistence on building a border wall is also being criticized in Mexico. President Trump's plan to build a wall is... Um, it's absurd. And if for people who live on the border and understand how borders function, we know that a wall is not going to keep drugs out of the United States. Um, the United States is one of the biggest consumers of drugs in the world. Many people we spoke to say it would be far more productive for Trump to work with Mexico to strengthen regional economies, which they say would eliminate the need for people seeking jobs to migrate illegally to the U.S. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Tijuana, Mexico.